In Sequoia National Park, the KNP complex fire has burned more than 9,300 acres. It's now closing in on an iconic sequoia tree, the largest living tree in the world. As a kid who was born and raised in Southern California, I know that the state is no stranger to wildfires. But the number of acres burned per year has been steadily increasing, and in 2020, almost half a million acres were burned due to drought, warmer, drier summers with larger and more prevalent lightning storms due to man-made climate change. It's estimated that 14% or over 10,000 giant sequoias died in the 2020 Castle Fire alone. It's Joe with Joseph Blake Photography. I am just outside of Sequoia National Park, right between Sequoia National Park and Kings Canyon. And after quite a bit of driving around, I think I found, I think I found my campsite. The views are spectacular. The weather is perfect. And other than the sound of the wind through the trees, it is breathtakingly quiet. I plan to spend three days and two nights out here in the wilderness. I plan to set up camp here. There's an amazing view of the meadows and all of the mountains right in front of me. And now I'm gonna head off to Big Baldy Ridge. Try not to take it personally.
I rushed up this hill so fast, I am out of breath. I'm gonna set up really quick and take this photo. So that, that climb was, that was a lot. Um, I did decide to come all the way up to the top and I'm gonna take just a couple photos. I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna head back down in the dark. I'll see you back at camp. Got about 10 minutes before sunrise. I almost feel like my shot is actually back over here. to avoid having a dead pine tree in my shot. It's depressing. So while it's a beautiful view, there's a little bit of pink and orange to it, but not a lot. Well, I think that's all I'm gonna get here. So I'm going to head back over that way and see if maybe any light has protruded through.
This is um, Crescent Meadow. 
where the ferns are turning brown with the fall. And there are flies that bite. So I just feel like, I feel like Thomas Heaton out here photographing the bracken getting bit by midges. The light right now is amazing. I've been taking what I hope are some phenomenal images of just everything. There's probably a, a photo every 25 feet. Like I said, just amazing in every direction. So it's almost sunset. And so I'm gonna take a few more shots here and then I'm gonna head up a trail and there's an overlook. Um, and it's supposed to have a really good view of Morro Rock, which I was going to hike up, but I decided not to. <laughs> Just, I don't have it in me right now, too tired. But I can hike to the overlook. So let's go do that. So I, I don't think I would be exaggerating to say that this entire area is glowing. These mountains over here, <laughs> these peaks back here, oh, and the rock that I just shot those photos through, just amazing. I'm gonna take just a few more photos of Moro Rock, and then I'm gonna move on to these peaks here right before we lose that light, because we got about maybe two or three more minutes. All right, I think I got the shot. I'm out of cards, I'm out of batteries. And that has a long way down. So I am going to pack up quickly and get back to the parking lot. So I am at what might be the scariest place I've ever been. Not like creepy scary, but I am on top of Morro Rock and I came up here to get some long exposure photos of the stars and the, and the moon, which is setting right behind me. And I've done that. And if they look half as good as they do in the back of the camera, then I'm really excited to see them. But man, I don't have a heights thing, but whew, being in the dark 
this high up. Almost as bad as Angel's Landing when I hiked that in the dark to get sunrise. Probably right on par. No wind here though, not cold. Temperature's actually perfect. I probably don't even need this jacket, but. Okay, I gotta, I gotta go. I'll, I'll see you in the morning. morning. I woke up this morning and I thought, you know, it's time to go. Time to head home. I'm tired. My knees hurt from all the, all the climbing up the steps last night. This will be the last shot that I take on this trip. Uh, and I'm looking forward to being back in my own bed and to take a shower at home. But before I go, and, and I appreciate if you've made it this far. So I've never, I'd never been here before. This was my first time into this particular national park. And I have mixed feelings. While it is a beautiful place, there is a considerable amount, at least in the areas that I was in, of Kings Canyon and Sequoia National Park and Sequoia National Forest that have been just absolutely ravaged um, by, by fire, by forest fire. And it's just, it's really sad to see uh, the state that the forest is in. And for the parts of the forest that aren't burned, it feels as if every fourth tree has died or is dying. It's dry here. Anyway my thoughts. Something to ponder. See if this makes it into the video. I'll see you in the next one.